didn't think we were going to get to go uh, because of the weather. But it cleared off a little bit. They're still giving chance of rain. So I guess we'll see about that later. But I'm trying to get over to this to this food pantry. We're about four miles from where we're going and get back to the house because Seth is supposed to be there <clears throat> and we're going to um, on the porch I had part of the end I had wire where Brindley couldn't jump off and y'all Nugget has no fear like he would jump from the Eiffel Tower I do believe it's, it's the craziest thing so since we've moved the patio furniture off to finish the staining, which we haven't been able to because of the rain, uh, when I take them out the last two nights, Nugget just leaps off the highest part of the porch to the ramp. It just scares me to death every time he does it. So he's coming today and helped me put wire across there and we're gonna put wire around the other porch at the end of the carport. We're gonna put wire up on that one and a gate. I hope we get that done today because we can do that in the rain because we'll be under the roof. And uh, he's gonna put the insulation under the floor of the trailer where the plumbers cut the insulation and didn't repair it. And I didn't know it until I looked under there for something. And there's just these two huge gaping holes. Uh, I still can't get over that such a professional company with such a good reputation, this town would do that, but they did. So I had some leftover insulation from the porch roofs and so we're going to use those pieces. There's enough of those scrap pieces. We can do that because it'll just be under the floor. And he's supposed to bring some old rusted tin from his house. And we're going to put that in the ceiling of the porch. I've been trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the ceiling after we put the insulation up. And uh, he had mentioned he had some old metal that he would give me that he just had a lot of it at his house so I also needed a few pieces to put around the um, 10 by 10 chicken pen I have just little odds and ends up there when I have baby chicks in there so they can't go through the little holes so he's gonna bring enough metal that we can put metal around the bottom of that pen so when I hatch babies out hopefully in the in the next month or six weeks or so when when some of this stuff calms down and I have time uh, I do have a couple of friends that wants to trade eggs they have different uh, chickens than I do and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna trade fertile eggs so we can have some some different kinds of uh, different kinds of chickens. So we're almost here. So I'll show y'all when we get back home uh, what we get. So y'all remember us also in your prayers. Um, the visitation for my friend is this afternoon. Her funeral is tomorrow. And then about bedtime last night, I got a text from another friend that they had taken her mom by ambulance to the emergency room. And she has not responded to a text yet to um, tell me what's happened. So I'm concerned about her. So if y'all could just lift us up in your prayers, I would appreciate it. Well, we've got our food. I have no idea what they give us, but uh, 
I visited with those ladies a little bit. They're always so friendly. And um, they've invited me to a, a concert they're having at their church on March the 23rd, the Cavalry Boys. So uh, that's also my niece's prom. And I know we got to take family photos sometime that day downtown before her prom. So I can probably be able to make that. Nugget and Brindley won't like it because I'll have to leave them at home, but maybe I can round up a friend or two between now and then. I love going to gospel singings. I was telling them that my nephew, which I posted pictures on here, he was in Grounded Quartet, sang with the Gaithers and some other, uh, the Trembles and some other big name gospel groups. I can't even remember who all right now, but they made CDs and stuff. But um, okay. they're, they all went separate directions preaching and stuff. And I miss going to their concerts. So that might be <clears throat> something I can video part of for y'all. Uh, it may get copyrighted, I don't know. Sometimes they copyright that stuff and sometimes they don't. I don't I don't know how they I don't know if their system just don't pick it up or how that works, but uh I upload it if it gets copyrighted. I usually take it down, but I have uploaded it again later, and maybe the second or third time I upload it, it won't be copyrighted. Isn't that strange? <clears throat> but anyway, we're on the way home, and I'll show y'all what we get, um, what we've got in our box when we get there. I don't know. We got a box and two sacks and two loaves of bread. That's all I can see. I have not looked in any of it. They just set it in the, set it in the car for me. But I'm glad it stopped raining because that's terrible to be out there having to come to everybody's car in the rain. But they do it, bless their heart, they do it. And like on Thursday at Produce Day at the other place, they all just stand out there in the rain. I mean, they, they've got to really have a heart you know, um, to serve people, to help people, to, to do that, y'all. Okay, guys, this is the food pantry haul for today. Potatoes, which I was out because I made that big bowl of potato salad. Video of that coming if you haven't seen it. More sweet potatoes. I can't eat all the sweet potatoes I get, y'all. We get so many. I could, you can only eat so much. I guess I need to do some mashed. Y'all, stop. Come on now. I'm on the, doing a video. Nugget sees somebody out the window. Um, maybe I need to do some mashed sweet potatoes, or I may do some like that. Put them in the freezer so I can take them out. We got pinto beans, walnuts, raisins, bread. This is fully cooked, seasoned, rotisserie, pulled chicken breast. I don't know how many pounds. Four pounds. 64 ounces. Four pounds of cooked chicken. How about that? Um, whole wheat spaghetti. Rice, uh, beef, ramen noodles, and this is a ham. We haven't gotten one of those in a long time. It's been a been a year or so actually since I've gotten one of those. Mac and cheese, canned chicken, canned tuna, peaches, corn, uh, chicken soup, chicken noodle soup, tomato soup. Uh, two cans of spaghetti sauce and chickpeas, which I do eat those chickpeas a lot. But anyway, 
this is our produce haul for the 1st of March. I don't know what day I release this, but this is the first food pantry of March. <laughs>